بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so now the next thing if you if you just try to compare the acls like what we did in the standard acl so there are a lot of similarities so basically we are not going to see all of them i'll just quickly review them so the acl works in a sequential order again the same applies here and it uses the first match logic if the first it, if it matches the first rule then basically it is not going to check the remaining rules so which means you need to make sure that you write in a proper order that is also important so if it matches then it is going to take the appropriate action the same thing and if you want to define a single host you can write this way this way normally so basically we don't write this here uh, because there is an option of wildcard mask you need to mention so we can write either like this or we can write 10.1.1.0 with 0000 something like this so these are the ways we can write okay so just ip address is not going to support in the syntax okay so you just ignore this one okay so we have to write either host with an ip address or we need to write with a wildcard mask these are the two options for writing one single host and likewise acl will match the range of addresses with the help of wildcard mask so we use a wildcard mask here as well uh, to match the range of addresses but the difference is here will be matching both source and destination so if your source and destination networks you want to match if both are ranges we use a wildcard mask for both if required okay and again if you want to permit all the traffic or if you want to match all the traffic we need to say permit any any so basically this number will be 100 not one so we generally say permit a access list 100 and we say permit any 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 means one any for the source one any for the destination so we need to write two any statements where one any statement is going to match the source and the other one is going to match your destination address and of course all the ip acls implicit deny which means if you're writing any statement and if the traffic is coming let's say if i'm not writing this statement if the traffic is coming with okay so if i'm writing all the ip acls if any acl is not matching any specific statement like in my example if i'm not writing this statement and if the traffic is coming with a source address of 172.16.1.1 let's say and it's going to try to match all the packets and there is no address mentioned with this source then basically the default rule will be deny so we call it as implicit deny so by default if any traffic comes if it does not match any of the acl rules when it hits the interface and the default rule will be denied so these are all the similarities you will see and of course we need to apply this acl on the interface and on the direction inner route and the concept of direction into the router interface or out to the router interface is still the same so you'll find all the similarities with extend acl also there are few differences we'll only discuss about those few differences in this extend acl concepts